The four sermons, uh, Exodus chapter 3, verse 12, uh, verse 12. And God said, I will be with you, and this will be the sign to you that it is I who have sent you. Why have you brought the people out of Egypt? You will uh, worship good God on these uh, mountains. And God said, I will be put with you, and this will be the sign to you uh, that it is I who have sent you. Why you have brought the people out of Egypt, you will worship God on these mountains. God said, I will be with you, and uh, this will be the sign to you that is that it is I who have sent you. Why? And when you have brought the people out of Egypt, uh, you will worship a God on these mountains. Now Moses was tendering the flock of the Yidro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock the far side of the desert and uh, came to Horeb, the mountain of God. Now Moses was tendering uh, the flock of Yidro, his father-in-law, uh, the priest of Midian, He led the flag of the far side of the desert and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. Uh, there the angels of the Lord appeared to him in the flames of the fire. Uh, from within a bush, Moses saw that through the Moses was, through the bushes was on fire, but it did not burn up. So Moses thought, I will go over and see uh, this strategy, strange sight, why the bush does not burn up. When the Lord saw that uh, he heard go over to look and God called to him, from within the bush, Moses, Moses, and Moses said, Here I am. Do not come any closer, God said, take off your sandals for the place where you are standing is a holy ground. He, then he said, I am the God, uh, your father, the God of your Abraham, the God of your Isaac, the God of Jacob. At this Moses uh, heat, his face become because he was afraid to look at God. The Lord said, I have indeed seen the misery of my people in Egypt. I have heard crying out because of the slave driving and I am concerned that they are suffering. So I will come down to rest rescue from the hand of the Egyptians. Uh, into a good and a spacious land, a land flowing with milk and honey.
And uh, now, the cry of uh, Israel has uh, reached me, and I have seen the way the Egyptians are oppressing them. So now, go I am sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, uh, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, who am I, that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt. And God said, I will be with you, and this will be the sign to you that it is I who have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you will worship God on this mountain. Mm. Moses said to God, suppose I go to the Israelites and say to them, the God of your fathers has sent me to you and I. They ask me, what is his name? Then the, what shall I tell them? Uh, God said to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you are to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. God said to Moses, say to the Israelites of the land, Egypt, of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob has sent me to you. Oh, this is my name, forever the name of which I am to be remembered from generation to generation. Call assembled the Israelites of Israel, elders of Israel, and say to them, Lord God of your fathers, O Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to me and said, I watched you and have seen what has been done to you in Egypt. And I have uh, promised to bring you up out of your uh, misery in Egypt into the land of the Canaanite, Tite, Tite, Benzite, Hivite, and Egypt, a land uh, flowing uh, with milk and uh, honey. The elders of Israel will listen to you, then the, you and the elders are uh, to go to the king of Egypt and say to him, Uh, the Lord your God of the Hebrews has met with us and let us take a three-day journey into the desert to the offer sacrifice to the uh, land our God. But I know that the king of Paros will not let you go unless a mighty hand compares him. I will stretch out my hand and uh, strike the Egyptians with all the wonders that I will perform among them. So after that, he will let you go and uh, I will make the Egyptians favorably the disposed toward these people so that when you leave, you will not go empty hand. Every woman is to ask her neighbors and their any woman living in a house of four articles of silver and gold and the clothes on which you will put all sons and daughters. And so you will plunder the Egyptians. <laughs>